Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to a another steamy and frankly the only way I've been able to uh, even sit down close the windows is I've had to take a cold shower so I'm on a time limit before my body starts heating up again so let's just get on with it yeah Douche. <laughs> The BBC and Sky have been going out to sea to film vulnerable and desperate migrants who are trying to get into this country in search for a better life. I have to say, you know, it is an unsettling image coming this close. Now, of course, it's the BBC, it's the Sky, they're a mouthpiece for the government. So they wanted to make this whole migrant thing look very dramatic. So they get into these large boats and they go out to sea. But it ended up looking tasteless and like a really crappy reality show with a David Attenborough wannabe. Okay. Here you can see the spineless reporters looking for a government story to distract the masses from the things that actually matter. Now as the media went there with their oversized boats and loads of space they were reporting how these little inflatable dinghies were overcrowded and they were possibly even sinking. We have seen them actually trying to get water out of the boat. They're doing that at the moment. They're using a plastic container just to try to bail out the boat. But did that ring an ounce of humanity in the rocks that these people call their hearts? Okay, okay, okay. They got their footage and they pissed right off mate. But at the moment, pretty choppy out there. They are bailing the boat out from time to time. The only thing these congenital cretins ended up reporting was their own lack of humanity. And so we'll shadow it and just see how the situation develops. Let's get one thing straight, yeah? Were it not for your own sanctions <laughs> and the fact that you're selling weapons to the leaders that you call tyrannical and not to mention bombing other countries and destroying their homes, naturally those very people would not have to come to your country then, you self-righteous ignoramuses. Now that we've seen the intense reporting ability of the media, I long for the days that they apply the same reporting style to the corporations and the banks. Can you think of anybody who stuck up for the bankers as much as I did? I, I, I defended them uh, day in, day out. Who are actually, actually causing damage to our nations. And oh yeah, what happened to All Lives Matter? I haven't even heard that even once. In fact, according to a survey, half the nation doesn't even feel sympathy. Sympathy towards these people. These very people who because of your taxpayers' money have had their homes bombed. And the Home Secretary, Preeti Patel, whom I think we are in agreement that she looks like an Asian Pinky Winky. <laughs> Her solution was to have tighter borders All gone. and it took an ice cream company to tell her that it, this don't make no sense. You are dealing with the symptom and not the cause. Having tighter borders isn't gonna do much when the root cause is being exacerbated and is increasing day by day. Her and her team's response was calling them junk food. Uh -oh. That's a bit hypocritical no? Because you look like you've been indulging in quite a bit of this junk food, frankly. Tavi Custard. More wars equals more migrants. It's basic maths, mate. And what did the Prime Minister Boris have to say about all this? Stupid and dangerous. Two words which I think perfectly describe his response to COVID and Islamophobia, and not to mention his American counterpart, Mr. Dolan Trump, who claims that World War II ended in around 1917 or something. LOL. May Allah have mercy on the people who have had their houses bombed and their lives destroyed, their loved ones killed. May Allah grant them sabr and may Allah assist them in what they are going through. Ameen. And may Allah not make us hard-hearted just because we seem to be living in these countries in luxury and we don't know how it feels to be crossing a channel on, let's face it, an inflated balloon. That's literally what it is, yeah? They are fighting life and limb to get to this country 
and we are here and it's very easy for us to look down and judge them but if you were in that position you'd think very differently yeah, we've got migrants like Einstein yeah nobody talks about him being a migrant coming here and you know giving us the theory of relativity and helping us understand you know time and space and all that sort of stuff da damn you Einstein I know this video isn't going to be monetized standard you know what I'm saying that's why I went a bit raucous if you guys survived till the end you know what to do hit the like don't forget to subscribe drop me a comment telling me how awesome I am you know how it is all right guys until next time are you all right okay okay legend has it he's still asking if they're okay from his big boat while they sink Then these two got together. Okay. Okay. But sadly, they are they are a great success. Salamu alaikum.